my heart like you do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How we love you. This is our Signs and Wonders program. It's a very special program, our weekend edition. I'm Don Black, and I'm, I'm uh, we're here with Pastor Gary Mitrick and uh, Pastor J. Anthony Gilbert and Myra, Pastor Myra Bell. But Pastor Myra, would you, would you lead us again in that, choir, in that course? I'm talking to her from behind my head. Would you take us back into worship? And as she does... As she does, there's a presence of God just for loving him, just adoring him. So join in with me. You know, let's go into his presence together. You may lift your hands, close your eyes. You could go on to your knees. But when you're in the presence of the Lord, let's take this opportunity just to tell him you love him. Did you tell Jesus you loved him yet today? This, this day, let's make that. Myra, one more time. Oh, 
Bless you, Lord. So many times we get busy in life, and, and life is busy, and it can be very hectic, and especially if you have responsibilities with children and your job and your, your family and all that you do, and just get so busy. I know uh, it's easy to forget to tell God that you love Him and have a season in that. And pastors, Pastor Jay, there's nothing sweeter than being in the presence of God as a child, just as a child, and say, I love you, Daddy. Amen. You know, we were talking, I think it was a little bit ago on um, um, heart questions, just about the presence of the Lord. We said, what's the favorite thing in your life? And those of you that are watching, the greatest thing in my life is the presence of God. There's nothing like waking up every morning and like the dew in the morning resting upon the grass, the dew of His presence, just resting upon our hearts, knowing that He's there to lead, to guide, to direct. You know what's awesome about the presence of God? It never has to cease. That's right. It can be with you wherever you go. And no matter what you're going through, as long as we have that presence, Pastor Gary, Amen. everything will be all right. And that's why I so look forward to this Signs and Wonders program because it's just a vehicle Amen. for the presence of the Lord to just come and minister to you. You know, Dawn and Pastor Jay, when I was in prayer early this morning, I just heard the Lord say to me that there's a lot of hurting people. There's a lot of people that are going through things. They're under attack. Maybe that's you. And you know, the Lord said he heals the brokenhearted. Yes, yes. yes. Whether your heart is spiritually, emotionally, relationally hurting or broken because of something you're going through. Maybe you're just under physical attack today. You're sick. We've got people that are watching us from the hospital. That's right. That's right. And the presence of the Lord <laughs> is going out right there where you are. Just as we sense him here, yes, yes. you can sense and receive Thank you, Jesus. His presence right there wherever you're watching. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the beauty of God's uh, power because he, His presence is fully around us. Amen. Just like He's here, He's with you. There's nothing that separates us in the spirit world. We're together in the spirit world. We're not together in the physical world, but in the spiritual world, we're in unity. And then the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. So inside of us, we have his presence. So God's got us taken care of. You know, he's got it, to, he's got it taken care of. You, and you say, well, I've got these issues that I don't know the answers to. I have problems that I need to get solved. I've got challenges that seem to be more than I can bear. And those are all real. I'm not, I'm not telling you that those aren't real. But I'm gonna try, what I am saying to you, there's a, a higher reality. And that's the reality that we can't see. That's what Pastor Gary is referring to, is the reality of the Spirit. He has the power. Remember what John said, 1 John 4, 4, that greater, greater, greater is He that's in me than he is in this world. Amen. All of those challenges, all of those problems, that sickness, that, those issues you're having with your children, He is greater, greater than that as he flows out of us. And that's what this program is dedicated for. We don't really have a, a, a tight format. You know, normally TV is a tight format. We, you got 20 seconds here and a minute over here and that, but that's not how this program is. We just come here and we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. That's right. Well, Dawn, like you said, everybody is dealing with the facts, but then there's the truth. That's you know, right. the facts are, the doctor said, I have this. The truth is, Jesus said, with and by his stripes you're healed. Amen. The facts say one thing, but thank God the truth is greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, truth is, the truth is greater. Let me tell you, can I tell you a quick victory story for my own life? So Terry and I went down to see our son down at Liberty University a couple weekends ago. We're a little homesick. 
for him not being there. So he said, we're going to go visit uh, uh, him at Liberty. And we had a certain time we had to be there for some kind of event. And we had three and a half hours in the travel that we had left to get to him. And we're driving along, traffic's pretty good, just moving right along, it's three and a half hours. And I, I said, and Terry's always got her GPS on. I don't know if you guys have that in your car or not, where it's counting you down, you know, it's counting you down. And, and uh, all of a sudden, the traffic just stopped. I mean, literally stopped from 70 miles an hour to nothing within just a matter of a half a mile. You didn't even see it coming. Poof. And she, she said, Don, what, what's this? And then she looked at her GPS, and now that three and a half hours became four and a half hours like that, just like that. And I said, well, find an alternative route, because sometimes you can ask it to find. She said, yeah, there is one, but that adds another half hour. So <laughs> it would add another half hour. I said, well, that can't work. we got to get there. And so we were in the car, and I said, let's pray. And we prayed, and then I, the Lord just stirred up in me. And he's, here's what he's teaching me. I want you to learn it with me. We can speak to our circumstances. We have authority to speak to our circumstances. And so I stepped out in that and I said, traffic, open up in the name of Jesus. Make a way where there is no way that we may get through and we may get to our destination when we need to get to our destination. And I claim this now in Jesus' name. Mm. And that's, a, that's a step for me. You know, I'm going to tell you, that, honestly, that's a, that's, that's a step for me in faith because you can tell if it happened or not. <laughs> you know? But right. you know what, God, you know what happened? Almost immediately, it was almost instantaneously, all of a sudden, the traffic opened up. Amen. And then all of a sudden, there was no traffic. It was like, there's just, you know, sparse. I looked over at Terry and her mouth was open. <laughs> Katie was in the back seat, she went, and I said, that's the power of God. That's the power okay. of God. And we got through, the, through, there was no more traffic. We got to our destination on time. That's a little story of how God will work in our behalf when we send out our angels and we step out in faith and we exercise our authority. You've got authority. Let's learn about that authority. Let's speak into this uh, atmosphere that we live in for healing, for deliverance, for, for anything that is f in your world that needs to be broken. That's why we're here to pray with you and to help you to learn that you can step out in faith and watch supernatural things happen. And it, it, it shocked I me. Mean, I was shocked. Not sure, but man, I'm grateful. I was shocked too, you know. <laughs> the same God that opened the Red Sea. Open and up. opened up traffic jams. That's right. Opened I-81. Amen. That's right. Hey, Jesus spoke to mountains. That's he right. cursed fig trees. We can speak to our circumstances in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Well, that's a lesson for me to learn. I hope that you'll take that testimony to heart. And whenever you're out and about and you need to see something happen. Now, God's not the genie in the bottle, will you, you, you know, you, he'll, but he will give you favor. Brother, is God a God of favor? He is a God of favor. And you know what's great? You know, Moses asked, he said, you know, when they were getting ready to go into the promised land or go into the wilderness, he said, let your presence go with us. They understood that in order, if you have the presence of God, you have the favor of God on your life. That's why, going back to how we started this show, just having his presence there, even if he doesn't heal you, even if you don't get the breakthrough, even if the marriage doesn't get turned, not that we don't believe that God can do all those things, just knowing that he's there means everything. Yes. This program, we have something special. We do it every time we do the weekend edition. We have communion together. So towards the end of the program, we're going to share communion. This will be a good time for you to get your elements ready. And again, they don't have to be anything special. They don't have to be a certain kind of grape juice, a certain kind of unleavened bread. It can be anything. God's not really concerned about the, the details of the elements. He's concerned about the details of our heart. So just get some bread and some water or some grape juice and some crackers. Get it ready because we're going to have communion together in just a few minutes. There's a supernatural impact in the spirit world when we break bread together and remember Jesus. Amen. There's, a, there's healing in communion. There's victory in communion. There's a reflection of what Jesus did with his body and with his blood. So in just a few minutes, we're gonna celebrate that, that communion together. One of the highlights for me is us having communion on a, on a weekly basis. I have so many people that stop me when I'm out and tell me how meaningful that is for them when we have communion together. Amen. A lot of people don't have anywhere that they can share communion. Right. You know, so share it with us. We invite you to share it with us. 
be part of this communion family. And then I've had people say, well, you can't have communion. You don't have a priest that's with you, you know? And, and that's the way, some people were trained that way, Pastor. That's, that's, their, that's their tradition, is that you have to have a priest or a pastor. Now, both of you guys are pastors and priests in that regard. Does that, does that uh, it obviously doesn't bother you that we're having communion on television. Well, I like to go by scripture. I like to find scriptural basis for any truth. That's, that's religion, that's tradition, but the Bible doesn't say you need a priest. The Bible just says, as often as, often as you as do you it, do. that's right. do it in remembrance of me. Amen, that's a great word. Well, here's how it works on the Signs and Wonders program. We have uh, teaching, preaching, worship and praise. Then we open up our, our uh, telephone lines and our internet site to you and ask you to come with your needs. It becomes an altar. So this is like a call to the altar. So when we come back, we're going to go right into the teaching. We'll go right into the teaching and hear what the Lord has to say from, to us from His Word. His Word is anointed. His Word will, will cause that anointing to break all the yokes in our lives. He'll send out His Word and He'll heal them. So don't go away. Stay with us. We'll come back for, for our Pastor Gary's teaching. I was diagnosed with boring mail. I just hated getting my mail because all I got were bills. I felt so bored and disconnected. One day, I called for the Cornerstone Real Life Newsletter. Now, I can't wait to go to my mailbox. Side effects of the Real Life Newsletter may include a closer walk with God, daily encouragement, information about Cornerstone Network special guests, and more. Call today for the Real Life Newsletter. It'll change your life. He said it, he'll do it. 
We want to thank you for tuning into this weekend edition of our Signs and Wonders program. Remember, if you need prayer at any time, we have anointed prayer partners. They've been anointed with the power of the Holy Spirit, and they're waiting to take your prayer request. The Bible says if two of us agree as touching anything we ask, we can have it. So why don't you call? The number is there on your screen, 888-665-4483. And as Dawn said, after the prayer partner prays, we then are going to agree with you for your miracle, for your breakthrough after we take communion together. Let me share a wonderful story out of the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, beginning there in verse 21. Mark 5, 21 says, Now when Jesus had crossed over again by boat to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him, and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue named Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and he begged him earnestly saying, my little daughter lies at the point of death. Come, lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she will live. So Jesus went with him. But a great multitude followed him and thronged him. Now let's jump down to verse 35. It says, And while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, It's too late. Your daughter's dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Oh, but as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, do not be afraid, only believe. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and he saw a tumult and those who wept and wailed loudly. And when he came in, he said to them, Why make this commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him and entered into the child who was lying. And when he took the child by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumai, which is translated, little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the girl arose and walked, for she was 12 years of age. And they were overcome with great amazement. But he commanded them strictly that no one should know it. And he said that they should give her something to eat. This is such a wonderful story. But it really paints a wonderful teaching and principle about the clash between our faith and between doubt and unbelief. You see, when Jairus first approached the Lord, of course, the Lord wanted to come to pray for his daughter and to heal her. Now, the Bible says a whole throng of people followed him. Now, the story says, and we didn't cover it, but if you read the whole chapter, while he was on his way, the woman with the issue of blood yes. reached out and touched the hem of his garment, and she got healed. But 
that delayed the Lord getting to Jairus' daughter while she was still alive. Sometimes when we don't get our answers, when we think they should come, we get discouraged. Maybe we even give up. But I'm here to tell you, delay is not denial. That's right. Even That's though right. Jesus Amen. didn't get to Jairus' house while the daughter was still alive, that did not keep the Lord from raising her up and healing her. But here's the interesting thing. When he gets to the house, the house is filled with all these people wailing and weeping. Mm -hmm. They were actually, quote, professional mourners. They were there just, <laughs> just letting all of their emotions out. And I love what Jesus did. He put them out. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he expelled them. Why? Because Jesus needed an atmosphere that was faith filled. The other thing he said was he only allowed the three disciples mm -hmm. that he knew were in agreement with him to follow him into the house. That's right. Can I tell you that you and I need to surround Amen. ourselves on, with That's like right. believers. Right, brother. Amen. Maybe you're in a house with some doubters with some skeptics. Maybe you work with people that don't believe like you believe. Oh, thank God for Cornerstone Television. Thank God for a prayer line that you can pick up the phone and call and know that somebody that believes like you believe will agree with you according to the Word of God for your healing, for your miracle, for your deliverance and restoration. Agreement is the place of power. And so often, if we're going to see God answer our prayers, we have to get the doubt out. Amen. Now, in this case, Jesus got the doubters out. He literally put out the weepers and the wailers. And I love what it says. He took in the little girl's parents because parents are a spiritual covering for their children. If you have a son or a daughter, a child that needs a touch from the Lord, can I tell you something? The Lord's not going to honor the child's faith. He's going to honor your faith because you're the spiritual covering over your children. And when Jesus went in, they told her it was too late. They, they told him the child had already died. But he just took the child by the hand and he said, arise. She's only sleeping. I love that. Mm -hmm. Death is not the end. It's only temporary. He raised her up and said, give her something to eat. And let her get her strength back. I'm here to tell you there is an atmosphere here Hallelujah. at Cornerstone. And with this Signs and Wonders program, there's an atmosphere in the prayer room with the prayer partners. And as we come together in agreement, let's get the doubt yes. out. Yes. Let's yes. take authority over unbelief and whatever it is that is hindering Jesus. and keeping you from believing God. Jesus. God's will is in his word. Yes. And his will for you is healing. His will for you is restoration. His will for you is deliverance. Yes. Why Hallelujah. don't you call right now, 888 yes, 665 Four, four, eight, three. Let a prayer partner agree with you in prayer. If two of you agree as touching anything we ask, we can have it. And Pastor Jay, we've said this a lot. One will put a thousand to flight, but when two get into agreement, it magnifies and increases the power and the anointing for that breakthrough. 
Amen. That's such a powerful, powerful word because we need agreement many a times in our life in order to get to the next level. And, you know, as you were talking, the, the thought came into my mind for somebody to stop weeping over the mourners. You know, in that time period between when the woman with the issue of blood and Jesus getting to Jairus' daughter, a lot of people have left. And there's some people out there right now that people have left you. But God says, I'm making room for your miracle. I'm moving the doubters out. I'm moving the people out. And now God is surrounding you right now with a rhema word so then he can reach down and touch that situation that is sleeping. It's not dead. It's not over. It's only sleeping. And God is going to rest. So pick up that phone even right now, 888-665-4483. Come on. Come into agreement with us. Our faith is here. There's an aggregate anointing of faith that you can touch and agree with that God can supernaturally bring a breakthrough into your life. Mm, Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 5 is one of my favorite chapters in the Bible. Really? It is because it it, it profiles 24-hour period in the ministry of Jesus. And it's in the early stages of his ministry. And it shows him in action. You know, I like to see Jesus in action. And it goes to the chapter 4, talks about his travel over from the Sermon on the Mount, and then he got in a boat, and, he, and that's where the storm and the, and the storm and he ra- the raging, and he calmed the storm. And then he, he went into the, um, the, the land of the Gerardians, which was a foreign country. That was a foreign country. It wasn't part of Israel. It was part of the Me- uh, Meta- Mechalopolis, which was, which was Greek. And a demon-possessed man came to him. We know the story. And he cast out the demons. And then, and then he, he ministered there for a while. And he got back in the boat. And he went back across, they said across the side, just across the lake, back over to, uh, into the uh, world of the Jewish community. And he got out of the boat. And there's these people waiting for him there. So Jesus was a moving, healing miracle service. <laughs> Amen. He, was, he was moving. And I, and I know that he was charged up by God for this because these, all of these, here's why I like that, that chapter, Pastor. All of these cases came to him. Mm-hmm. He didn't go looking for Jair- Jairus. That's good. Jairus came looking for him. That's right. The woman with the issue of blood <laughs> been, had been uh, suffering for 12 years. She didn't, Jesus didn't go seeking her. I didn't know anything about her. I don't know. He may have. He said maybe the Lord showed him that. But she snuck up on him yep. and touched him from behind because she was illegally in the, in, the, in, in, in the public. She should have not been there by code. She was unclean. But she came to him. And then, and then this is, the, this is the, 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 the point I want you to take home to, with you. They came to Jesus. Mm-hmm. So many times we're waiting. You know, I believe God's going to heal me. I believe he is. I believe I'm healed. In Jesus' name. But we don't take it to the next step. We don't go to him. We got we to we gotta go to him. And I, I, you say, how do you do that? Well, I, it's a simple step of faith is by you picking, in this case, picking up your telephone, dialing the number, calling a prayer partner and say, I'm coming to Jesus. Amen. I'm coming to Jesus. I'm coming for what? For, for the heal me from this cancer that is plaguing my body. We believe there's power, to, God's power to heal cancer and to dry it up and cast it out in Jesus' name. I'm coming for power to restore my marriage. I'm coming for whatever your need is. God isn't a respecter of that, Pastor Jay. Any need, God has the power through his word to take care of it. But we've got to come. That's it. You know, we've got to go. That's right. We can't wait for Jesus to pass by. Amen. Jesus is already here. That's so right. let's come to him. We give you a point of contact. That's what this simply is, is a point of contact. You reach out, take your phone, or go onto the web. You can, you can uh, text us or uh, you can email us. That's how you connect. Because here, here's the supernatural. Here I am. There's got to be a bridge to that. And that bridge is faith. And that faith is in one or two or more of you agree on earth. You see? Sometimes your faith is weak, but you need to blend it with somebody whose faith is strong, who has that anointing flowing. When you hear the word like Gary has just preached, faith rises up. And you go, well, if that was true then, why can't it be true now? And we say it is. So call us, 888-665-4483. And when you call us, Pastor Meyer, when people call, they are stepping towards Jesus. That's right. 
That's you see right. what I mean? Now, right. you know, Jesus isn't going to answer the phone in the natural, but he's going to answer the phone in the spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. And it is so. It is a reality that God answers. And I, as you were ministering in that word, I just kept thinking about those people that were supposed to be there to support the family. Now, some of them had to know that the father had gone to see Jesus. And here they are supposedly comforting and, and believing. And then as soon as he got there and said what he said, it turned to ridicule. It turned to ridicule. There are those of you who people have ridiculed you for believing God. Don't let anybody stop That's you right. from believing <laughs> God. On. Let your faith Hallelujah. touch Christ. Let your faith go to the phone. Don't let your flesh, your natural parts, oh, there's nothing to that. There is absolutely Thank you, Lord. something to you making steps of faith. Your faith, like you always say, putting feet on your faith. Yep. That's picking up the phone. That's believing God. God honors faith, Pastor Gary. He does. And you know, the psalmist said, God sets a solitaire in every family. And, 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 and sometimes you might think, I'm the only right. one in my family that really believes God. Right. Everybody else is making fun of me. Everybody else is ridiculing me. But thank God for Come Cornerstone. Yes. You have a partner in this yes. ministry. Yes. Yes. You yes. have a lifeline being thrown to you. But as Dawn said, you Jesus. gotta take that step. You gotta reach out. Whoever calls yes. on the name of the yes. Lord shall be healed Amen. and delivered. Amen. Call out to him right now. Draw near to God. Yes. Don't feel alone. Don't stay oh, that's right. isolated. That's right. You have a friend and a partner in this ministry Amen. right here. Amen. You know, if you were looking at this from Jairus, Jairus' perspective, his miracle got interrupted. He did. Because he went to Jesus. He was out seeking. And you know, who was he? He was the leader of, of the synagogue in Capernaum. So this was a powerful man. This is the guy who made the synagogue. He was a businessman, a, a business leader of the synagogue. Everybody knew him. Everybody knew his position. It, he, he was a powerful man in that world. But his miracle got interrupted by the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. So Jesus says, okay, and he turned to go to Jer Jer uh, Jairus' house. But then this woman shows up, <laughs> you know? And, and then I can even imagine him, Jairus, going, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. My daughter's about to die. Right. Don't you understand? She's about to Jesus. die. And then Jesus wasn't concerned. Why? Because he knew what was going to happen. Yes. Jesus wasn't concerned about that. He, he was... He said, who touched me? And, and this woman, she, through her actions, now listen to me, through her actions, she reached out and touched his garment, which really was his tallit, uh, the wings of his tallit, uh, which we will talk about before we, again, another time. He reached out, she reached out and touched, and healing virtue, the Bible says, flew, flowed out of him. He didn't lay hands on her. He didn't anoint her with oil. He didn't call the elders of the church together. She touched him unbeknownst, and her face stirred up. The virtue flew into him, out of him and into her. He felt it. He felt it. So he knew, he knew something had happened. But so I'm, I'm thinking about Jerry. So here he is. How long that took, we don't know. And then all of a sudden, then somebody comes from his home and says, well, you know, it's just too late. It's too late. She's already died. Think of the heartbreak. And even the anger, maybe. Even the anger that says, wait a minute, Jesus... You didn't come and my daughter died. Why didn't you come when I asked you to come? I came and got you. And he said, that's, that's, let's go, let's go. And he went to his house and then the Lord interrupted, interrupted that death party that was going on with life. And he, he, he changed it, completely changed it with a supernatural touch. So Jairus, if you're Jairus, where you feel like your miracle has been interrupted by whatever circumstance in life, it's still there for you. It's still there for you. Move out, reach out, receive God's promise. Hold on to his prophetic word. This is for somebody specifically. You've had a prophetic word that God is going to use you in a miracle ministry and you haven't seen it happen and it's been years. Well, don't let go of that, hold on to that. 
because you don't know what God's timetable is. He, he, it's either waiting for the timing to be right or he's waiting for you to be right. So once you get both right, be patient and then work on yourself that you would be a vessel worthy of honor that you could be, as Timothy says, useful to the master. So if, if you're Jarius, if, you're, if you feel like your miracle has been stolen or interrupted, it's not done yet. Amen. Not done yet. The day's not over with. Jesus had a 24-hour day that he ministered in. He's ministering right now. He will call. If you'll call, he'll touch you. He'll reach out to you at 888-665-4483 and say, Lord, here I am. I need your touch. Yes. John, it's never too late for God. That's right. He doesn't always come on Friday, but he always comes on time. Come on. <laughs> now is your time. In due time. That's right, brother. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Let your faith arise and call that number. 888-665-4483. There's some of you there, you've just been in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. You just you just feel just paralyzed with pain. Mm -hmm. If you will call that number, the Lord will heal you. And Pastor Jay, the Bible says it's the anointing yes. that breaks and destroys yokes. Thank God for the anointing of the Holy Spirit is feeling a pain right this minute that's shooting from, this would be the right side, through, through the front side of your head to the left side, right? It's like a lightning bolt, shoop, just shooting through your, your head right now. If that's you, I want you to reach out, receive healing in Jesus' name. Come on. In Jesus' name, whatever's causing that pain, be gone in Jesus' name. Call us, let's stand together and let, identify yourself. Stand up and identify yourself and get ready for communion because communion represents everything Jesus did for us, Pastor. Everything is represented in this simple act of communion. Will you, will you lead us in the communion? Yes. So take your elements, if it's a cracker, a piece of bread, something, and then take your drink of some kind, and we're going to pray over it. Lord, it was on the night that you were soon to be betrayed that you took bread, you blessed it, and you broke it. For you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was on you, Lord, and with and by your stripes we were and we are the healed. Thank you. And after supper, you lifted a cup because you're a covenant God. And you said, take and drink of it, for this is the blood of a new yes. testament, yes. a new covenant shed for the remission of our sins. Lord, you said as often as we would do this to do it in remembrance of you. So bless these elements now. Use them, Lord. And bless us, your people that are about to receive them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Take your bread, your cracker, whatever you have. Take and eat of it now and be healed in the name of Jesus. And as Christ lifted a cup, we lift our cups. Take and drink and be washed and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. It's paid for in full. It is finished. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank Praise you. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don, there's somebody. Praise God. It's like their knee has been locked. It's like it's, I, I hear in the, in, in, in the spirit a locked up knee. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the, it's like the Lord's got the oil can of the Holy Spirit out. <laughs> He's oiling the knees and the joints. Arthritis is being healed. Hallelujah. Bursitis yes. is being healed. Yes. Yes. Swelling in your knees is yes. going. 
God just open up the Thank circulation yes. in people's extremities. Yes. Lord, touch hearts right now. Yes, hearts are being healed. Palpitations go. Panic attacks leave. In, Jesus name. in the name of Jesus, God yes. is yes. the yes. strength yes. of your heart yes. and yes. your yes. portion forever. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He wants to do it more than you want it done. Come on. He's yeah. waiting on you to touch him with your faith. Thank you, He's just waiting on you. Thank you. Reach out and touch him. And there are so many of you whose hearts have been broken. Come on. You never allowed God to heal your heart. You are in church. You've been working in church. You've been doing ministry, but you've been doing it broken and God wants to heal you today. You just ignore the pain. And God said, you don't have to ignore the pain. He'll heal that hurt if you just let him. You know, Pastor Meyer, the Bible says a wounded spirit. Yes. Who can bear that? You can't carry. That's a lot of people can carry physical hurts and wounds, mm -hmm. Pastor Jay, but when their spirit gets wounded, that's, that, right. that's, a, that's a tough one. That's a hard thing to deal with. And that's why God wants to heal you today. He wants to be, and I think there's some of you out there right now that you've been battling with the fact that maybe it's not for me, maybe it's not gonna happen, not today, somebody else. You know, Mark 5 is all about crazy faith. Every one of them, whether the Gadarean demoniac, whether Jairus' daughter, the woman with the issue of blood, they all had to push through. You know, many times in our life when we're going through hard times, I always say this to myself, I said, either I'm hearing from God or I'm out of my mind. And really it's both. <laughs> Because you have to literally be crazy sometimes to believe God. You have to be willing to get outside of yourself and believe God. So whether it's for your healing today, whether it's for your marriage, your finances, a job, nothing is too difficult for God. Get out of your mind that God can't. Get out of your mind that he's not willing. He is willing. He's able to do it today. Pick up that phone, 888-665-4483. Today is your day. Yes. Right now is your time to step in and get a miracle for your life. You know, th th there's someone you, I think you just recently had a doctor's appointment and the doctor basically was very negative. Said there's nothing more we can do. But I'm here to tell you, Dr. Jesus Amen. is still able to step in. It was not too late for Jairus' late. daughter. That's right. And it's not too late for you. I love that. He, 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 they, they, they said she's dead. Jesus said, no, no, no. She's just sleeping. She's There's a difference, sleeping. isn't there? Amen. That's why I said get the doubt out. He had to get rid of everybody out of there. In your situation, get everything out today. That's why God tailor fit this program just for you Amen. to put us four together to encourage you. And even if there's nobody else out there, right. realize That's today right. we are in agreement Come with on. you right. that Jesus. what the doctors can't do, what the lawyers can't do, what the physician can't do, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly, far above all that you could ever ask or think. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what, what, for, for you, if you're new to this uh, program, perhaps you've tuned in and uh, we're in different parts of the country now and you've never really bon watched a program like this before, what Pastor Gary just, just uh, exercised or what are words of knowledge and words of wisdom. You'll find them in Corinthians and they, they're gifts of the, of the Spirit. They're, they're supernatural gifts of the Spirit. And what, what they, how, they, how they function is God will download into uh, in this case, into Pastor Gary, a word and the, the person with the knee, like the knee that's locked up, that's a word. For, he didn't make that up and he doesn't, nobody, anybody, he's not talking about something he knows. This is a spiritual en endowment and, and, and it's for you. So if you're that person with the locked up knee, there's a healing opportunity. See, now let me tell you, that's a word opportunity. I say that by, on purpose because it's not a fact until you exercise it. It's an opportunity. So the Lord's saying to you through the, his, his vessel, I've got a healing for your leg available to you. Now, what do you do? You receive it and you stand up perhaps, you know, and you move your knee maybe. And yeah. you, maybe you bend your knee. And you test that knee. You say, I receive my healing in Jesus' name. And you do some testing on it because you want to be the healed one. You don't want the passing, that opportunity to pass you by, Pastor Gary, Pastor Gary and Pastor Jay, and say, well, that could have been mine. You know, and when you get to be with the Lord, he says, well, I sent a healing to you. 
your knee doesn't have to hurt for those t last 10 years, <laughs> you know. There's a healing for you. Pass, don't let it pass you by. Be like the woman with the issue of blood. She went up and touched his, his hem, hem of his garment. If, you, if that's call out for you, reach out and touch Jesus. Test it, get on the phone, tell somebody that you believe it, and start receiving it. Same thing for all of these words. That's what, they're all statements of faith on what God wants for you. Now, will you take it? Who has to tell you? If God tells you out you know, through a prophetic word, that's as good as it gets, brother. That's right. That's right. But the promises of God are not automatic. They're conditional upon us believing them. That's right. That's Here's right. what Jesus said. All things are possible if... One of the biggest words in the Bible, if you only believe. So keep calling. Many of you have called. Many of you have called. We're going to right now lay hands yes. on those of you that have called the, your request. But right now, wherever you are, just reach out in faith and join with us. Yes. And we're going to just send the word to heal and to deliver you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. What's your name? Father God. Yes, let's pray out as the Spirit would lead you. Father, Lord, we thank you for your healing power. We thank you for that, that supernatural invasion into the natural, God, that is your Spirit. Lord, for each of these people, Father, each of these loving, very precious ones who've called, Lord, each has a special need. When we release your Spirit, first we release faith. Let faith rise up yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. And Father, may they hear the truth and the truth set them free. We bind spirits of doubt yes. and unbelief yes, we do. in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Out of the cloud. Thank you. Father, we thank you that these, these people are represented, these, pa these papers represent people you love. And Lord, we love them too. Let, let their testimony rise up, yes. Father. Amen. Let their Father. testimony rise up. Yes. Lord, we wouldn't know about Jairus and about the woman with the issue of blood if somebody had not written that testimony, Father. Yes. Yes. So let, let this testimony rise up Father. of how God has answered the prayer and how you have shown your love. Amen. We trust yes. you, Father. Yes. We love you, Lord, and we ask this in the name Father. of Jesus, Amen. in the powerful name of Father. Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Gary. Thank you for being part of this family. If you're new to us, we welcome you. So glad that you're, you're aboard with us. We always close the Signs and Wonders program in worship. We start out in praise, and now we end in worship. Oh, magnify the Lord with Pastor Meyer Bell. Come on, let's give God praise for what he's done, the healings that he has performed, not just healing singular, but healing plural, what he has done. Oh, magnify. Afraid? You are never alone. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Who is our God? Father to the fatherless, defender of widows. This is God whose dwelling is holy. God places the lonely in families. He sets the prisoners free and gives them joy. 
Know that your life has a purpose. You have meaning and you aren't around by accident. I have called you back from the ends of the earth so you can serve me, for I have chosen you and will not throw you away. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. If you ever feel alone, call our prayer lines. We are always here for you. Know that Jesus is with you wherever you are, and you are loved. Every Sunday after church, we used to sit in this room and talk for hours and hours on end. When I lost him last winter, I really wasn't sure how I was going to make it. This old house just felt so empty. And one day, when I was flipping through the channels, I found Cornerstone. It was there that I found programming that really spoke to me. Pastors and teachers who not only gave me what I needed spiritually, but emotionally as well. And on those days, when loss just overwhelmed me, they took time and prayed with me. Cornerstone has been my constant companion, and I thank God every day that they are there for me, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They do so much more than put pictures on the screen. They honestly care about me, and they care about you too. Stone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.